Hi Aries, Aries, let's get straight into it and see what's coming up for you. Oh, okay. Let's do this then. The World card, Seven of Swords, King of Chalices, Strength card, the Hierophant. Very nice. And one more, King of Pentacles. Wow, Aries. Okay, let's start off with the World card. This is beautiful. This is things coming to full circle, things coming to completion, embarking on a new cycle. Absolutely. The world card is a card of travel. It is a card of opportunity, worldly opportunity or opportunities coming from afar. I feel like for some of you that are starting your own business or that have a creative talent or pursuit they wish to show to the world, they wish to exhibit their work, this very well may be the month that you do this. And I feel as though you will be received very, very well. I do see you talking to influential people here with the Hierophant. And I do, for the most part, um, see people acknowledging or investing um, into these, into your talents, into your business or into your service um, as well here. So this is very exciting with the world card. For some of you, there's a there's a traveling trip or holiday plans that are coming up for you with the world card. I think you're putting the, the final touches on something, Aries, with the world. I also feel like for those that are single, you might be meeting someone that is foreign that's coming in. It could be on the internet. You might meet this person on your holiday. It could be a Leo. You do have Taurus here as well. Um, you have strong earth energy here actually with the Leo. And then you have other. You have the water and the swords and the um, air elements as well. So look, it can be any sign really, but... Um, this person is very creative and artistic, um, is what I'm seeing here with the world card. Well, this could be you. There's a lot of creativity flourishing um, around you with the world card here, um, embracing worldly cultures, worldly cuisine, uh, or something like this. But I really feel for a lot of you, if you are um, have some sort of creative talent or maybe you have an overseas property or investment, I feel as though this is going to be placed on the market and there's an offer that's coming in with a large amount of money. So I think someone is going to be um, wanting to put in an offer to you with the world card here. Moving on, you have the Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords is warning. It is intuition. It can be deceit or obstacles that are coming up. What I like about this card, though, is that it's 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 surrounded by so many other positive cards, and I almost feel like you're surrounded by a good support system or a support network, or you're surrounded with very good judgment, whether this is your own or people exterior to you, that's providing you a lot of signs, and you know when you'll need to step back here with the Seven of Swords. I feel it's important that you follow your intuition this month, absolutely, your inner self. Um, and I think this will guide you throughout the month. I feel there could be a little bit of anxiety here, though, because I don't feel as though there's anything coming up that there's for you to worry about with the Seven of Swords. I just feel like there's potential obstacles. Or if you're trying to get in touch with someone, um, Maybe it's a long distance relationship for some of you and you're feeling a little bit anxious about how your communication is going back and forth. And maybe that's why you need to summon the strength as indicated by the strength card. For others, I feel with the seven of swords could indicate that there's some sort of creative pursuit, uh, something you're trying to buy or sell overseas or online. And this could prove to be or have a few obstacles. So I still feel like there's a few steps for you to take before you finally reach the offer. I feel like there's an offer coming at the end of the month um, because I see the cards to go this way. So I feel like it's a bit of a process for you. But um, you'll definitely emit something out to the world. You'll definitely share something, whether it's with the world or your immediate circle or your extended friends and family, um, associates or creative groups, creative teams. Um, and this just could indicate that there is a little bit of obstacles um, or a little bit of um, anxiety over what it is that you're you're trying to put out there. The King of Chalices is the next card. King of Chalices is a card of emotional goodness, emotional reliance as well. So as I said, there is some sort of support network behind you that's supporting you. 
um, that you'll have their back or they'll have your back with the king of chalices i also feel like this is an offer of love you do have the hierophant here so some of you are getting engaged or married or saying your i love yous this month um or for those that are married and coupled up i feel like the two of you are growing closer together um it could be because of creation with the world card. It can symbolize creation. So this can be a child, a grandchild, even a new addition to the family, maybe even a pet with the lion present here. But I feel there's, a, there's just a lot of emotional bliss coming, coming in for relationships. I also feel like passions, you're doing something that's more focused or more concentrating on your passions or something in more alignment with... Um, your ambition with your goals with your passions in life which is nice with the king of chalices but this is just feeling feeling really positive feeling really blissful feeling really um, grateful so there's an attitude of gratitude so to speak here happening with the king of chalices which is really nice i feel for those that are dealing with water signs you are seeing a lot of commitment and a lot of love attention and affection from them as well Maybe this is a little bit more heightened. Maybe emotions are heightened, but I feel it's in a good sense. And I think emotion will prevail over thought because the king of emotion prevails over the seven of swords. So I feel ultimately if you are having these despairing thoughts or doubtful thoughts, I do think um, you'll overcome them and emotionally you'll, you'll feel better than you're thinking. You do also have the strength card here. So this can be a Leo for some of you. This could be an emphasis on physical fitness. Some of you may be starting a business centered on physical fitness, on relationships, on strength. It could be psychology. Um, it could be something creative that you're doing, something colorful, creative that you're designing, uh, that you're putting out there to the world. But with the strength card, I feel like there's, this is, I feel it's you and your power. I do. Or it could be a Leo that you're dealing with directly if you are dealing with someone that is under the sign of a Leo, sun sign, moon, rising sign. But with this strength card, I feel you'll prevail. For those that are getting married or engaged and there's people around you that disapprove, I feel like suddenly they'll start supporting your decision or they'll come to light how serious you're in love or how serious you are about this career change, for example. I feel with the strength card also that some of you need to hang in there, um, especially in terms of jobs, careers, and businesses. I feel there's something to do with a cycle that's taking place that may start in November or may be finished in November. So I feel like there's you, you need to be strong. There's resilience that's needed. You need to hang in there because it's worth you investing the time and energy and money and effort into an endeavor of some kind here. I think it's absolutely worth your time, Aries. But this is also pride. This is you taking pride in your work, especially for those that have creative pursuits or have been um, performing quite well at work. I feel like you're taking pride in your presentation. You'll also have an opportunity to exhibit leadership skills at work or in the workplace. This is also a good relationship with management. This is also about taming something because you see this person here and they've tamed the lion. They've maybe even domesticated the lion. So look, I feel for some of you, if there's been, if you've been undergoing a rough patch at work or with collaborating with someone or someone's been giving you a hard time at work and you're not seeing eye to eye I mean you have been experiencing this I feel like either you're taming someone Aries or someone is taming you this month but I feel it's a sim symbiotic relationship and therefore I feel you're both benefiting from this relationship you're both benefiting from this um, emotionally or um, work-wise um, ethically through your job ethic but I think there's a compatibility here um, and the two of you can, can give to each other, which is nice, which is good. I think this is a long time coming for some of you. It's also affection. There's definitely someone around you that's putting you under their wing. Um, a, lot of, a lot of support here. And if there previously wasn't any, you may find there's just growing incredible support around you. Or if you do have the support in your 
these decisions you're making. Maybe it's relocating. Maybe it's putting your work out there to the world. Maybe it's getting engaged or getting married or spending a lump sum of money or investing or investing in a property. This could be it. The Hierophant is here. Influential person around you, Aries. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, that's around you. There's this marriage. This is also someone of um, importance here. This could be a spiritual leader. This could be a life guru, a life coach, maybe someone you're going overseas to see in person. Maybe this Hierophant here is someone that is creating this symbiotic relationship with you. And together, things will just flow. You'll embark on a very harmonious cycle together, which is nice. Could be a Taurus here with a Hierophant because of the five. So for those that are dealing with Taurians. Or this certain king of pentacles because he's come up twice here. Uh, sorry, the knave of pentacles. It's come up twice, this sort of earth energy. So I think for a lot of you, this person is... There's um, an earth energy brings stability, it brings security, um, it brings something more grounded. So for a lot of you, it's a humbling, it's a humbling energy this month. Either meeting someone very humble, or there could be a marriage ceremony that you're invited to or you're planning, but it's quite a humble ceremony. Um, it could even be overseas. There could be a wedding invitation for overseas. For some of you um, that are married or are coupled up. Um, there is a strengthening of bonds that's taking place in the month of November. I really feel some of you are going to be raised on some sort of platform here. You're, you'll either have large control over big decisions or money at work. Um, I feel you'll be put in this place where people, where you, where you seem very large and other people around you might seem... Um, a little bit smaller areas. So um, this could be the contrast in experience, qualification for those that are, for example, applying for a new job and maybe it's you that stands out or this earth sign that stands out because maybe they're more qualified or maybe they just exhibit senior, um, seniority in the role or more experience maybe as well. The Knave of Pentacles. This is a scribe of commerce, financial transaction and offers. This is offers of money. So for those that have been trying to sell a property or rent out a property, I feel like there might be a foreign investor coming in here. The Knave of Pentacles is also business transactions. Um, so for those that have online businesses or work for a corporation that is based online or is international, I feel like there's an influx of money that's coming in here, Aries, with the Knave of Pentacles. Also, earth signs, documentation, documents that are coming in with the nave. Or some of you are paying more closer attention to finances or consulting the services, um, for example, an, an accountant for your taxes or something like this in the month of November. But look, I will leave it at that area.